Hi, I'm Brent. Today we've got a video update on the Ford EcoBoost Mustang. And you can see behind me, this is our R&D vehicle which we've been working on. And you may have seen some of our other videos where we've explained the best value upgrades from a performance point of view. Um, so today we're going to talk about the exhaust system and what you can see on the ground is the original factory exhaust and on this particular car we've done some testing on what gains you can have when you replace it with a performance exhaust and matching it with a custom tune and from a uh, summary point of view in advance we'll discuss that at the end of this video so let's just have a look at what comes factory standard to start with um, the rear mufflers pretty obvious twin outlet on either side with the single tips and this is all one piece hung under the car goes around into a center resonator and then it's a interestingly a lot of manufacturers um, normally don't use slip joints but uh, Ford for some reason are using a slip joint connection on their muffler in the center of the car with a flexible joint here and then the catalytic converter and then this goes up into the back of the turbo so let's have a look at the replacement exhaust system of how it fits and you can see Tucked up inside there is the, the back side of the turbo, which is where the replacement exhaust system comes down, goes into a high flow catalytic converter. And on this particular brand, it's got a slip joint to make it easily fit. And then we go around the corner here, the back of the transmission into a flexible joint, and then into a double slip joint to make it easier to again fit off all the original factory mounts and then into a center resonator where the exhaust system splits into two outlets with flange connections and gaskets. And then one side goes around the side of the, the rear diff and into the single outlet at the back. And of course, we do the similar thing on the other side. Now, you may choose to do an exhaust system not because you want a performance improvement, you just want the car to look different or you want it to sound different. This certainly sounds different. One of the things that we tested on the dyno the other day was we disconnected the back half of the exhaust um, on this particular out. We, we took the center pipe out and just ran it with the factory front half to see if there was any difference in performance. And the outcome is the factory rear mufflers compared to aftermarket mufflers such as this, there's not a lot of difference in power and performance because the original uh, factory turbo is quite small so therefore it doesn't need a huge exhaust system from a gas flow point of view so when you then replace the original factory exhaust with a slightly larger aftermarket exhaust system with less back pressure the gains that you're hoping to achieve may not be as much as what you would expect but the more important thing is you must match that with a custom factory ECU tune to make sure that it all works properly because the ECU in this car is incredibly complex and if you fit an aftermarket exhaust without a custom tuner suit, you will have all sorts of weirdo fault codes. And at the same time, you're not gonna get the most reliable outcome, but also you're not gonna get the best performance outcome. So the big question is, um, would you fit an aftermarket performance exhaust to the turbo Mustang for a um, performance point of view, or would you do something else first? And the answer is, you would definitely do something else first. You would only fit the exhaust system if you wanted to sound different and look different. Um, but you certainly wouldn't do it if you're looking for an immediate upgrade in performance. Check out our other videos where we do in a lot of detail about the custom tuning of a factory standard parts, that is having the car with no mechanical mods at all and we tune the factory issue, which gives you a good healthy increase in performance. The next level of upgrade that we then recommend is a modified and replacement front mount intercooler. And there is a video where we talk about the advantages of that as well. So in our other videos, we'll also talk about the modification for a cold air intake, and we'll also talk about the tuning with factory standard parts as well. But for now, make sure you subscribe to this video, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, and share it around, and um, we'd love to hear your feedback. For, but for now, no matter where you are in the world, my name is Brett Middleton. I do hope this video has helped you. Bye for now.